YouTube, what's up man? Today we're gonna be talking about the AK-47 and it's me in the flesh. I dropped the 87 kill game play on cartel. Things that are never even heard of, right? Alright, I wanna show you guys crack gameplay. I'm out there killing people for y'all. Alright, that's what we do, okay? I hope you understand. Love from another man, alright? <laughs> Anyways, so I'm gonna show you the class setup in the gameplay that we're about to talk about later here in a little bit and then we're gonna talk about the attachment that I use you guys can play around with it see what you guys like to use and then we'll go from there we're gonna be watching some great gameplay I'll tell you that now listen before we get into this make sure to subscribe we are at 80 subscribers let's go baby okay like the video comment down below if you guys actually get to use the class setup let me know i love when my stuff helps you guys out you know that's what i'm trying to do right here right when well, here in a little like upcoming weeks i think a couple ideas that came into my mind for call of duty is that i don't want to be consistently showing you guys like crazy guns like you know what to use right like i'll always be doing that but I, I want to add something particular that will like uh, get your interest. And so I think I may make a video on like top five or five best tips on how to make you better at Call of Duty. And I actually think that like this may help you considering that from the looks of it, he, some of you need some help, man. But listen, I got you. All right. All right. So let's get into that gameplay and I'll see you guys freaking later. The I, I, the best class setup right for the AK-74 uh, is a five attachments. So it is a 20 liberator barrel. Uh, you can either use that, which or compared to a uh, what is called muzzle brake. Uh, one's just better at range. I think liberator is like more damage, right? You'll you'll see the stats as you're going on the gun. I just like talking about the statistics while we're going through the gameplay just to give a conversation as to what the game are like it, the guns like i don't really like going through the main menu and looking at the class and tell you guys if you guys prefer that i would be happy more like more than happy enough to do that for you guys um spend that four grip we got gru grew elastic wrap handle kgb skeletal stock and then the last one is microflex site you guys can use whatever site you want i think microflex site is like one of the most preferred on any weapon that you actually think you need to red that side on so that overall is the um ak-74 class so this is probably one of the best like ars in this game and the reason why i'm saying this is that literally the difference the top two ars i believe in this game are is the krig and the ak-47 now what are the differences is that the ak-47 right here as we're watching this gameplay i want you to see the damage like being done from the range that i'm like killing some of these people at which is like ridiculous and then it's like that is why people are using this gun and it's because it's like if you can really control that recoil because as you can see this gun's kind of jumpy as it's it's that little bouncy vertical jump that you keep shooting it starts aligning up 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 right so you slowly gotta curve your like r3 stick down to uh adjust your aim if you continuously shoot so uh with that damage and like any person that can shoot straight is a dangerous uh like combination if you want to say right uh now versus the crick the crick is really accurate that thing doesn't move at all and i'll be making a video once i get to that gun but the thing is is that like even though it's super accurate the damage between the ak-47 is not quite there and that's why it's going to lose uh face to face most of the time but again it's it's, it depends on people, what they like to use, and like the guns that they feel more comfortable with, right? So this is like, again, an 87 kill gameplay. Uh, and the funny story, guys, is that like literally the way how this happened is because if you guys see the burger in my party in this game, uh, Fusion, actually I was playing with this guy, um, and he goes like, you know, I want to play GBs. And I'm like, yo, listen, I want to grind for camos. This guy disturbs me every night, and he's like, I want to play GBs, okay? And then I'm like, okay, listen. Listen, Fusion, Mike. If you want to play GBs, you it's a best of five, right? We play five games of pubs. If you can get a higher score, more kills than me, 
out of those five games, you got me. We're playing TPs, right? <laughs> so the second gameplay, I literally dropped 87 kills. And the thing is, for me, is that I didn't plan that whatsoever. Is that like when people like put me up to the challenge or that I have to play like seriously, right? Uh, because like when I play pubs or multiplayer in that state, like sometimes I'm just shooting the gun, running around. I'm not really paying attention at that time. Even though it looks like I'm a crackhead walking around that's like freaking addied out, right? But that's just how it is. Like, uh, but yeah, I dropped 87 kills and that's like literally, I think that is my highest, uh, that's my peak right now. Don't worry, we, we, we will be breaking that. That's, with me and kill records, <laughs> that those things go out. That's all I have to say. But, um, like you can see, I'm literally using this gun like kind of like a some machine like as I'm going around the hard point here uh and the weird thing is is that like you don't think cartel like at a 6v6 match is like who's gonna use that as a high kill gameplay right but I, I just I just kept pushing uh like and th thankfully it was hard point which helped a lot because this map's really big so with hard point being in this it like controlled the spawn somewhat so I knew where these guys would have been half the time right um but it just, yeah, like right there, that guy, that kid just got smoked. Like, it, and this is what I love about this gun. It feels so good. Um, I think like one of the things for me is that like I got to consistently use a gun to like just be like, I guess, used to it, right? Um, what I mean is that like with camo grinding, you use guns like different guns. Bam, new AR. Next week, another AR. Next week after that, another AR. And you come back to it and it's like... It's like you gotta learn the thing all over again, and it, sometimes you guys don't understand that or realize it. Is that like each gun has its little own quirk, that little jump that has to it, and the uh, right attachments you guys are using on it that like depends on how you use it. And so that's that all comes from playing and your own time spent within it. That you're not gonna learn how to use the gun properly if you don't play. That's just just straight up and forward, right? But um number like another tip that i have for you guys is that like what I, caused me to allow uh to have an 87 kill gameplay is that like literally uh i just kept going on streaks that i did not die again like literally i got two war machines in this game i believe i think actually three um and with those war machines you can rack up a ton of kills depending on the spawn and with it being hard point you can literally destroy the entire team within seconds and i mean seconds right cruise missile is always like a two to three second like or two three kills always like for me and the trick with it is i've been seeing a lot of guys using cruise missiles and i <laughs> i just learned this like two days ago is that hold l1 if you don't see anyone on that mini map that like literally just like doesn't show anyone that's like targeted red on the mini map uh until it does L1 slows that missile for when it's coming down and then you let go and then it goes full speed. So streaks definitely help a lot but I mean you can just see my map positioning is that like I'm literally just going around the hill inside sweeping it up you know like the things we gotta do to carry the team right. But uh, that's I mean this guy is a lot of fun to use I just I feel like I'm more of a uh, some machine dominant player I've always been like this. Uh, just because it's faster even though like I can use this and yeah I mean 87 kills man that's that's basically the story but yeah that'll wrap it up for the video for today uh I hope you guys did enjoy it make sure to let me know if you guys have any criticism under or any other gun that you want to see a video on just let me know as always I hope you guys do have a good rest of your day enjoy your familia I heard you guys had like a great Thanksgiving and all that and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.